Turning now to our other big story of the day, authorities in Montgomery County say they've taken a number of dangerous weapons off the streets. Those guns have been connected to at least five murders in Philadelphia, and they're all linked back to one man who's now under arrest. Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The DA's office says a joint investigation with several agencies led them to a Glenside man who allegedly sold at least 15 guns illegally over a two-year span. Action News reporter Eliana Gomez is live outside of Philadelphia police headquarters with more on this story. Aliana. Ryan and Sarah, this investigation began last month and involved multiple law enforcement agencies, including Montgomery County detectives and Philadelphia police, and they apprehended this suspect just a couple of weeks ago. They say he's facing a slew of charges all related to gun trafficking. One man now tied to multiple shootings in Philadelphia where 10 people were shot and five others killed. Gun traffickers like Hartsock are enabling violence and murder, and that's plain and simple. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele announced the arrest of 23-year-old Tamir Hartsock of Glenside. He's an accused straw purchaser, which is when a person buys guns legally but sells them to people who cannot legally own a firearm. Over the past three years, investigators say he bought 15 guns. So far, they've only recovered four of them and traced those weapons through the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network, or NIBIN. And that database um, generated multiple leads indicating that the four firearms involved uh, were involved in homicides, including a triple homicide, um, as well as several shoot shootings all in Philadelphia. Action News was on the scene of that triple homicide last month at a home on Palmetto Street, where three teenage boys were gunned down. Another teenager was shot in the stomach and survived. I heard the gunshot. It was a big body. They had it cover. So I heard everything. Investigators say that same gun was used in another shooting three months earlier. In August of 2021, there was a mass shooting outside of a barber shop on Germantown Avenue where six people were shot, one of them fatally. You took people's life away. You're selling guns to, to teenagers with no license, with no nothing. So you got to stop the violence and put the guns down. And DA Steele says just one of those gun purchases comes with a five year minimum mandatory sentence. So he could be facing a number of years in prison if convicted. He was uh, had a preliminary hearing today. Bail was set at $500,000. He remains in jail in Montgomery County. And again, law enforcement want to remind people out there that there are still 11 other guns out there. So if anyone has information, they're urged to call police. Reporting live outside of police headquarters in Philadelphia, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News. I'll send it back to you guys in the newsroom. Aliana, thank you.